Want to make sure you never miss a Kindly Kian video again? Be sure to subscribe and hit that bell to turn on notifications. He's going to have an upside down house. That's right. So the upside down house is going to go on the bottom. Just like that. Oh, that is so good. <laughs> I love it. Hello, everybody. I am Kindly Kian and welcome back. To Tiny Town VR. It's been a long time since we played Tiny Town VR. Now, unfortunately, I've lost all of the maps that I made in the past. I had to reformat my computer recently, and, uh, well, I guess it didn't save my projects. So all the things that we built in the past are unfortunately gone, but that's okay, because I had an idea. There was something that I wanted to do in Tiny Town VR that we haven't really done. Now, we've built the Hello Neighbor House before, right? And it was awesome like it turned out really really cool but what i was thinking why don't we get a little bit more creative with it and this time why don't we build our own custom hello neighbor house so we're going to use a lot of the same tools that we used before which to be honest with you it's been such a long time since i've done it i kind of forgot a lot of the things that we used to make the neighbor's house but we're going to use a lot of the same tools and ideas and concepts of the Hello Neighbor house, but we're gonna make it our own. So I have a couple of ideas that I kinda wanna start out with. So I'm thinking, hmm, you know what? Blue is boring, orange is in. Orange is the new black, as they say. So we are going to make a house that is not only quite strange, as the Hello Neighbor house is, but I, I was thinking, what if we started it out up high you know how the neighbor's house is on stilts and stuff and you know how like it kind of branches off from the base level but what if it actually started out on stilts like the starting house is on stilts i think that would be pretty cool so we're gonna do that but i don't know if i want that house i think i might want something a little bit bigger so what if we went with well that's actually not much bigger but you know what we're gonna go with this we are gonna go with this. Yeah, I like it. And remember, we can zoom in, so remember, the house is still pretty big. Uh, we're just, right now, we're we're zoomed out really far, so everything looks like really small. But if you zoom in, you can, you can get a nice perspective of how things are gonna look. So this is actually gonna be elevated above the ground and standing on top of stilts. And if it's a little crooked, that's okay. That's part of the character of Hello Neighbor. So one of the things that we did is we used pieces of wood, I think, that were in the town section. They were just like two by fours that were just laying around, and we used those as stilts for the neighbor's house. So we need to find those little pieces of wood. Where are you, you stinky piece of wood? Is that a piece of wood? This is a piece of wood, but it also has a nail on it. Well, maybe this would work. I don't know. Eh, let's let's not worry about it right now. Let's uh let's keep looking. This lumber. There you go. The perfect stilt. So basically, we're just going to move down here and we're going to take this and oh, you know what? I need to turn snapping off. So, let's turn snaps off. Ground only? I don't know what that means. Just turn it off. Okay. So, we're going to go from this stilt and we're going to just bring it all the way down to the ground level. And there you go. Uh, you know what? I want this to be a little bit more substantial. I mean, again, you know, it's you got to kind of use your imagination when it comes to this kind of stuff, because clearly you'd never really have a house standing on like little stilts like this. Normally they'd be like cemented into the ground and a lot more stable. But this is part of the fun of building a custom Hello Neighbor house because we can really tap into our imaginations here. So I'm going to put one back here as well. It's going to come down like so. And actually what I like to do is I'll take one of these and kind of branch off and then we go like that. And you know, it kind of makes it look like it's got a little bit more support going on. And then we'll go over here. We'll take one of these. And well, you know what? I'll take one from right here and then we'll go over here and we'll do the same thing. Bring it down. Like so, and remember, this is just the very beginning. I do have kind of a cool idea that I've been playing around with, or at least it's been bouncing around in my head. 
so I'm kind of excited to try it out. I'm not always the most creative individual, but I think if I have kind of an idea of something that I want to do, I can I can typically make it happen, or at least try to. Hmm, I feel like it's still a little lacking in support, don't you guys think? Like, it kind of feels like this thing's gonna fall over at any second. Maybe we should give it like one more leg, maybe like kind of towards the center and just do something like that and bring it down like that and then we'll stilt it off kind of at the top. We'll do a little branching pathway here like that. Maybe that works, maybe it doesn't. I don't know, I like it. Yeah, I think that works. That looks really cool. It almost looks like a beach house, right? You know, the beach houses, they're oftentimes sections of the house are have like stilts kind of holding them up off of the beach. But anyways, there you go. That's the beginning of our house here, but how does the neighbor get to his front door? That's a great question. This is kind of the concept that I had in mind. What if, instead of using the train to get around the upper levels of his house, what if he used a train to actually get to his house? So first thing, he needs a train station. And I don't know if there's actually a train station, but there is a railroad section of the game. So let's see if we can find a train station. It does look like there are train stations. Oh my gosh, this is beautiful. This is actually really, really cool. Like this, we can use this for other stuff too. Can we, we can make objects bigger or smaller too, right? Oh yeah, you totally can. Okay, I'm not gonna play with that right now. Um, what should we use as the train station? We don't have like a billion different options, but we do have some decent ones. Should we just use something like this? It's pretty simple, right? Just a station cover, something like that. I think that will work, and something that's interesting is that the last time we played this game, there wasn't actually railroad stuff in the game. So now that there's actually railroad stuff, there's probably train tracks, right? There has to be train tracks. Can't add all this railroad stuff and not add train tracks. Yes, there are train tracks. So, I think we're gonna just, well, you know what though? <laughs> the only problem is, is that the train tracks that the neighbor has are kind of like freestanding. They're floating. These train tracks come with ground. Now, in the past, what we did is I think we used like, we used like power poles or something. I don't even remember exactly what we used to create the train tracks, but it worked. I wonder if we should just go back to that. I don't know. I remember it was a fence. We used a wooden fence. I need to find the wooden fence. Is it under farm? Yes, there it is. This is what we used as the train tracks. And see how there's there's no ground with it. So like the ground doesn't come with it. So it's more free form, you know? So I'm kind of torn between using the actual train tracks. I think if the train tracks didn't have ground underneath them, I'd be totally cool with it. But I didn't see anything that works that way. All the railroad tracks have ground underneath them. None of them are just floating out the ground. Yeah, I'm trying to get a nice shot of them. Yeah, they all have ground. That's a bummer. Well, at least we have kind of like cool looking trains. I wonder if we can mess around with any of these. Would the neighbor have like a full on train in his house? I think he would. He seems like the kind of nut job who would do that. I don't know. We'll worry about that later. First, let's make our train tracks leading up to the front door. Who doesn't want to take a train every time they come home? Actually, that would be kind of annoying sometimes. Because sometimes, you know, like, what if you have groceries and stuff? Like, that would be a pain. But I like this. I like this. So this is going to tilt up like this and then continue on. And we've got to get it so that it eventually wraps around and reaches the front door. We're going to go something like that. This is going to be quite the ride. My gosh, it's like a Disneyland ride up to your front door. That's actually really awesome. <laughs> All right, let's take this. Hmm. That might be a little bit too sharp of a turn there. I don't know about that. Okay, I'll tell you what, you know what we can do. We'll just, we'll just make this a ride. So we'll go all the way around the house. Why not? We'll come all the way around, wrap around the house and then come to the front door. And then we'll have to, we'll have to like cross with the tracks again and then come back around. I don't know. I mean, yeah, we're getting creative. I miss this game though. This is a really, really cool game. I mean, just the the ability to basically create anything that you want is so cool. They actually added steam 
uh, workshop support since the last time that we played this. But you can actually download other people's creations. I haven't actually looked at some of the things that people have made, but I imagine that there's some really, really cool stuff on the Steam Workshop. I'm sure there's some very talented people who get their hands on this game and make some awesome, awesome stuff. But we're just going to make our own little custom Hello Neighbor house here. I think we're almost at the point where we can start coming back around to the front of the house. I hope this works. Did I give myself enough clearance? I don't know. That's a pretty tight turn for a train to make, to be honest with you. I think I have to reevaluate our uh, trajectory here. So let's take this back a bit and let's kind of head in this direction so that we can give ourselves a little bit more room. You know what, actually what I should do is not turn so soon. I should keep this going straighter a little bit longer so that we have more room to kind of turn into the house. But we'll start turning like here. All right, this is gonna be much better. Much, much better. Go like that, bring it out, and just continue to turn it. And we might have to come back up a little bit. It's kind of hard to keep track of the elevation of the whole thing. This would be like, we're, we're on a perfect pathway to connect the whole thing, but we haven't actually made it to the front door yet. Gotta fix that. We definitely have to fix that. We're almost there though. Almost there. This is the one, right here. This is the one that takes us home. So this is where you make your exit. I'd like it to be a little bit more straight. I think that'll work. Yeah, that's good. I think what we should do is put like a platform here so that you can step off the train onto the platform and then you can either go into like what I assume is like the garage or you can go into your front door. All right, so now <laughs> part of the tricky part of this is that uh, we need this to be, we need enough clearance here for whatever train we have to not hit this. Hopefully that's enough clearance. This looks really cool though. I love the way this is turning out. The last thing we need to do, of course, is to get this thing all the way back around so that we have a complete loop. This seems like the crazy kind of contraption that the neighbor would make for himself. It makes no sense whatsoever. Oh, that, oh no, 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 no. I need to turn snapping back on to get our floor back. Please put the floor back, okay, grab this. Nope, I don't, nope, I gotta turn snapping off now. Okay, yeah, like I was saying, this seems like the perfect thing that the neighbor would make because it makes no sense. It has no practical purpose, but it looks hilarious and awesome at the same time. So it's the perfect, it's the perfect thing. It fits the build. I don't know if he got city permitting for all this, but he's not gonna worry about it. He's the neighbor after all. So we need to bring this out a little bit more. I know this seems ridiculous to have to go this far, but these tracks are not exactly the most flexible. So you have to give yourself enough room in order to get to the point where you can make the turn to get back to where we need to get to. I think we're good though. I think we're gonna make it. So let's just continue extending our tracks this way. And we're almost there. We've almost made it home. All right. There we go! We have our train track all set up. Of course, now we need to put down like stilts to kind of hold it up, but actually I'm not gonna worry about that too much right now uh, because I do want to focus on the house once again, but I wanted to make just something ridiculous in order to get to the front of the house. And obviously having a train that takes you to your front door is ridiculous. Like I was saying, imagine if you had groceries, that would be super annoying. Now, what kind of train is the neighbor gonna have? Well, why don't we just give him one of these for now? He's gotta manually get that thing up to wherever he needs to go. Maybe one day he'll upgrade to one of these bad boys, right? Actually, what we can do is make this a little bit smaller. We just put it like that. That's pretty good. Kinda like that. <laughs> I think, I think I wanna go with that. Actually, I need to make it just a little bit smaller because it, it seems to hit the top of this right here, but that looks pretty sweet. And then the neighbor needs like a passenger cart. That's a metro car. We have just like a standard passenger. Here we go, right? No, that's, here we go. Bullet train. Okay, sure. Let's just make this a little bit smaller. I don't know if we're gonna be able to get it exactly the same size. I need to make it just a little bit smaller. And, and uh, sort of, kinda, there we go. Perfect. All right, so that's how the neighbor gets to the front of his house. He 
He has a train, a full on train. Paper doesn't mess around. All right, so the next thing that we have to do, obviously, is add more to the house. And we need to make this house absolutely ridiculous. So let's go into buildings, of course. There's our buildings. And let's start adding on. And honestly, I have no idea. I didn't mean to do that. I have no idea what I'm going to do here. This was pretty much all the idea that I have. So really, at this point, we're just playing it by ear. So I think what I want to do is kind of have like a section sticking out that way. Okay, that's nice. And then let's get real ridiculous with this. Ooh, an outhouse. Yes, everybody needs an outhouse in front of their house. Perfect. Okay, we'll add a barn over here. And of course, we want to be mindful of our train tracks. We don't want to hit them, bump into them or anything like that, get in their way. This is always a fun house, but this should be a good house. Um, you know what? I think that this one is going to kind of be on stilts up above these. Yeah, that should look pretty cool. What about this? Hmm. What if? Oh my gosh, that is beautiful. What if a section of the house was actually sideways? That is definitely something that the neighbor would do. He would have a sideways house built on the side of his floating house. And then, of course, he would have a windmill sticking out of the side of his sideways house. We'll just take this windmill here and put it just like so. Perfect. Makes perfect sense, right? Now, again, we're going to build stilts to all of these so that it's at least a little bit more believable. We don't want them to completely be floating in outer space. Let's check out some more buildings and let's see if there's any other buildings that we might want to add from uh, different sections of the options that we have. Would the neighbor have like, oh my gosh, that's a huge building. You know, I feel like the neighbor would have an office building, but it wouldn't be in the front. It would be in the back of the house. So he's going to have a weird looking office building. Just kind of, just kind of like over here, just above the train tracks. I really like the way that's looking. And then we'll have stilts kind of coming down this way, holding this up. Oh, that's going to be so good. All right, let's see a shot from the front. Yes, looking very, very weird. A oh, skyscraper that is glorious. You think we can do it? I think we should. I think the neighbor needs a skyscraper at the at, at, on his house. So we're gonna add it to back here. Oh yeah. Oh, that is that is just ridiculous. I love it. All right, let's go over to some other stuff. We've done farm, maritime. I like this. I like what I'm seeing. Oh, a lighthouse. Yes, but we're not quite ready yet. I don't think we're ready for a lighthouse quite yet, but the man is going to have a lighthouse on this ridiculous Hello Neighbor custom house. Absolutely. You know what I'm thinking? Here's what I'm thinking. Now, I know this building seems pretty boring. I want kind of a boring building. Because not only is he going to have a sideways house, he's going to have an upside down house. That's right. So the upside down house is going to go on the bottom. Just like that. Oh, that is so good. <laughs> I love it. All right, let's check the airport. I don't know if, you know, we're going to want any stuff here. But, you know, I mean, maybe we could we could technically put like a, an airplane, you know neighbor could have a jet there's there's a possibility or I was just thinking like maybe he has a helicopter maybe if we end up putting like a helicopter at the top of maybe we'll put a helipad on like one of the sections that we build it could be pretty sweet let's just save that for later all right let's check the racetrack uh, I don't know none of that seems very good construction oh my uh, nope that's not gonna do us any good Railroad, we could definitely work with some of these buildings. Yeah, you know what? Actually, I'm thinking, no, I want a different color though. Let's go with this color and let's put this off to the side. Oh no, you know what? Actually, let's extend this right here and just kind of add on to it. I think I like that. Yeah, just like that. Okay, so that brings it out a little bit more. I love this over here. That's so good. What is this thing? I don't even know what this is. It's just weird. Perfect. Where are we going to put it? I have no idea. Let's try and find, you know what? Maybe actually what we can do 
Let's kind of do something silly around here. We can have this. And now I recognize that this staircase is leading to nothing, but maybe we can put something here. I know exactly what the neighbor would have here. Oh my goodness, this is a great idea. But let's go to town and let's go into items. I'm looking for the pallets. Pallets, right? Yes, okay. So these are good for platforms and we've used these in our Hello Neighbor builds in the past. So basically I'm gonna build kind of a fairly large platform out here and I think you guys are gonna like this. Okay, that should be good enough. And then I'm looking for dirt. I think I actually used garbage in the past, but basically what I'm doing, if you haven't figured it out yet, is I'm gonna build like an upper level garden, essentially. Kind of like what's at the very top of the neighbor's house in his real house. That's my thought. So hopefully I can pull this off. I just need to find some dirt. Here we go. We found dirt and it's, Whoa, no, I, I just, I just want you to be, no, this isn't gonna work because this is for ground. So you know what? That's not gonna work, sorry. No, I actually just realized that there's a whole nother category that I missed. You guys see this? Space? Are you kidding me? There's rockets? You could get really crazy with this. Look at this stuff. This is insane. This looks like a thermal de detonator. It's actually a meteor. Okay, sure. Yeah, there's a meteor at the neighbor's house coming to crash into his house. This is crazy. None of this stuff was here before. Oh my gosh. Is that like a, that's a tank? A telescope? Observatory? That's amazing. That's some really cool stuff, but I'm still looking for dirt. This. Trash pile. I found it. This is what I used for dirt last time. And I, I mean, it's it's a it's a pile of trash, but we can use it. We can use it, so we can just replicate it, and we can even we can ma even make like bigger pieces of it. So we can make it like a little bit bigger, like that, and then it's just like a mound of dirt there. In fact, I don't think I need all of this, these little ones that I made. I'm actually gonna get rid of a lot of these. Whoop, whoop, whoop. Goodbye. Hello. Go away. Okay, there we go. We got our dirt out here. So now we just need to add some trees. And of course, the neighbor would have apple trees, right? We just need to find them. They're under farm, you big dummy. Of course they're under farm. Apple trees. There we go. So he's gonna have a bunch of apple trees up here. Not too many, of course. In fact, I think I'm gonna make one a little bit bigger. And we'll make this one a little bit bigger and put this one in the center. And then you know what? He'll get a lemon tree as well. Big old lemon tree, right there. And he's uh, apparently growing cabbage in his garden. It doesn't really look like cabbage, it just looks like little green bushes. That's fine. Oops, move the dirt, put the dirt back. All right, and there you go. There's the neighbor's upper level outside garden. It's very bizarre. And of course, again, we gotta build supports for all this stuff. Okay, so I'll tell you what, I think what I'm gonna do now is build the supports for everything and then I'll come right back to you guys. All right, guys, we did it. I finished putting in all the stilts. I kind of show you, I'll give you a little tour here real quickly. You can see I got a little creative with it. You know, we got some pretty weird looking ones. Look at this one. This one's connecting this weird office building to the, the weird outdoor garden that the neighbor has. This one is going kind of in this direction, makes zero sense, and that's kind of part of the fun. We got a whole bunch holding up this section of the house. I like the little V thing that I did there. And then, of course, you have all the stilts holding up. The train tracks look super, super stable and looks totally safe and completely under all kinds of regulations and codes. It's up to the standards, I'm sure. So I think the last thing that we want to do just to kind of fill things out and and by no means are we done with this if you guys want me to continue this construction project I have no problem doing that but I think what I want to do before we end this episode at the very least is just add some trees you know we want like a little bit more diversity here with our landscape so let's go ahead oh my gosh I was inside of the ground for a second there which was kind of terrifying but let's go ahead and just place some big old trees kind of here and there probably like one right here and actually we probably should have the golden apple tree right Would this be the golden apple tree I know it's a lemon tree but I mean 
you could pretend that they're golden apples, right? Yeah, I think we should. And it should be very, very big, right? Like, oh my gosh, that is, holy cow, that's too big. Kind of love it though. Where are we gonna put this giant golden, oh my gosh, too big, too big. Okay, I need you to come with me, but I need to be able to like swim over here. I think we're gonna put it back here and we're gonna make it bigger. That, that's too big. I like that. I think like that's pretty good. Oh yeah, that looks great. That's awesome. All right, now let's set up some apple trees here and there. Get a little bit bigger, put some bigger ones back here. Fix that one up, copy this one. I want another big one. So let's put another big one. I don't know, maybe. Right there, yeah, that's pretty good. How much better that looks, it just, it just adds so much more kind of diversity. I love it. Oh, we should probably add a chimney, you know? We should have like weird piping and stuff, right? So actually, I think what I'm gonna do is take these pipes and I'm gonna have weird piping kind of going in this direction. Neighbor loves weird piping in his houses. So we know that and that's what we're gonna do. All right, so that looks pretty good. Also have bushes here. So I think I'm gonna add some bushes. Oh, and you know what? Actually, one of the things that I think I forgot to do was we wanted to add like a little kind of landing area here. So it's gonna have a bush right next to it. I'm just gonna set up some bushes here and there. Not too many, I'm not gonna get too crazy with it. We can always get a little bit more detailed if we want to in the future. But that should be pretty good. And then of course we need to finish this little platform right here for us to exit the train onto. So I think I'll just use pallets and I'll just kind of do the same thing that we've done in the past. Set up a pallet there and just bring it out like so, just like that. Bring it out a little bit further so that we have a little bit more room. And let's make this bush a little bit bigger. Put it right there. Ooh, that's nice. So guys, I'm pretty happy with the way that this turned out. I think it's pretty cool and I think it's a lot of fun. Kind of using some of the methods that we used in the past for our Hello Neighbor House to build our own custom Hello Neighbor House. So let me know if you guys have more ideas for things that we can add to this. And if you want me to continue the series, be sure to let me know in the comment section down below. But that's going to do it for this episode. If you enjoyed it, be sure to hit that like button. And of course, if you'd like to see more, you can subscribe to my channel by clicking on that little circle with my logo in it right below this window. You can also watch more of my videos by clicking on the sides of the screen. Thank you so much for watching and I will see you guys next time.